Hi, I'm Max Amarov, Executive Director of Research and Strategy at Stand With Us, an international Israel education nonprofit organization. College is an amazing opportunity to learn and experience new things that will benefit you for the rest of your life. But if you're like most students, BDS is not part of that picture. Whether you know much about it or not, my guess is that BDS is an aspect of campus life that you could do without. That said, I'm going to share some ways that you can turn this potential challenge into an opportunity. I've worked with students like you all over the country and together we've defeated countless BDS campaigns on campus. Here's what you need to know. Number one, the goal of BDS, which stands for Boycott, Divestment and Sanctions, is to end Israel's existence. However, many students who support BDS think it's just about human rights and supporting Palestinians. That means you should not fear that you are going to a campus full of people who hate Israel and anyone who supports it. You may find a small number of activists who think that way, but most students will be willing to talk to you and hear your perspective. So, be proud of who you are and don't be afraid to engage with people about Israel. Number two, you may be asking, what can I do as an Israel activist on campus? When BDS wins votes, it is because BDS supporters put in months or years of work ahead of time to make that happen. The lesson there is, whether or not you have anti-Israel activity at your school, the best thing that you can do is to be proactive. Join the Israel group on campus. If it doesn't exist, find some like-minded students and start one. Educate yourself so you can tell Israel's inspiring story and have nuanced conversations about the conflict. Educate your peers about Israel in a way that is relatable and humanizes the issue for them. Build relationships with other student leaders and organizations. Get involved in student government and other areas of leadership so you can help your campus community. Find tangible ways to strengthen ties between your campus and Israel, like increasing study abroad. You shouldn't wait for something bad to happen to start doing these things. Every single one of these steps will help your community thrive and overcome any challenge that may arise. Lastly, number three. If a BDS resolution comes to student government or a BDS referendum goes to a vote of the entire student body, know that you're not alone. Many students have been in this situation, overcome similar challenges, and come out even stronger in the end. And you can do it too. The best thing is to be proactive throughout the year and have a plan for how to defeat BDS if it comes up. For a BDS resolution, the key is to persuade members of student government to vote no. For a BDS referendum, you'll need to reach a larger number of students and get out the vote. I'm not going to lie, it's not easy, but you and your community can do it, especially if you're proactive. In closing, always remember that resilience is at the core of Israel's story and the story of the Jewish people as a whole. If we work together, there is nothing that we cannot overcome. So, if you need help being proactive on campus, or if BDS does come to your school, don't hesitate to reach out. Stand With Us, CJP, Hillel, ICC, and our many partner organizations will be here for you throughout the year. We have all the resources and advice you need based on many years of experience. For more resources, visit standwithus.com BDS. To reach a local campus professional, email campus at standwithus.com. Good luck next year.